The TV channel's visitor continues its work at the International Military and Technical Forum Army 2022. And today we have in our studio Deputy General Director for Public Relations of Savalmash Company, Alexander Sudarev. Alexander, good afternoon. Well, what does Savalmash represent here at the forum? We have two stands today. The first one is in the Pavilion C, inside. The second one is outside. Let's start with the one which is outside. It is a laboratory to try drive systems with induction motor and controller. So, we use this platform to try creating drives for different equipment, special, military, civil, any. So, we selected a very interesting platform. We try to start with the difficult things. When we deploy our big aerial on TV to transfer signal, we deploy it using electrical drives that are launched by induction motors that Savalmash produces. A house that Jack built. There is actually the second stand. Well, this one is clear, drives. What about the second one? We have a lot of motors at the second stand. They are representatives of our different developments. They are general industrial motors that put in motion, machines, pumps, ventilation equipment, almost anything. Electric vehicles. Electric vehicles, it is traction motors. They are also represented at our stand. Traction motors together with controllers of our development with this mathematics and software was created by our specialists, by programmers. Inbuilt motors for manual electric tools, home appliances. And it is quite a small size solution, it is innovative, it does not have analogs in the world. It can work with a frequency of 600 Hz that are attained using standard classical software. A very surprising, strange thing happened. We today live in a very different world and a lot of producers of different equipment, including motors, left the country because of the sanctions. It happened to the lift heights as well. We are used to using lifts and usually it was the company Otis that made them and you could see that banner everywhere. Now Otis has left and as far as I understand, while Otis was preparing to leave, leaving and actually left and it took about three or four months, you had the time to make your own system. Absolutely. We have developed a lift hoist without reductor. It has eight modifications as of today and it was created not by our own initiative but for needs of a specific client, we won't tell you which, and it is represented at our stand. And we can actually base it on the needs of any lift building enterprise. We can create a hoist or modify this one for cargo lifts, passenger, cargo and passenger, medical lifts and so on. All right, let's get back to induction motors. Let's remember lessons of electric equipment. There is a rotor, a starter, windings, voltage goes to windings, then a magnetic field is created that makes turn the rotor. And then we understood that electric motors are more powerful and more effective than others. And a lot of attention was drawn to induction motors, attention of many producers. Now you have managed in the sphere, which has quite many producers in it, you have managed to do a very interesting development. We take four old motors and we make three new ones out of those four. The three new ones which are much more powerful. How? It is not really so. We take three classical motors and we make four our motors out of them. Okay, I got a little bit confused, sorry. So, modern producers, they try to achieve high classes of energy efficiency, IE3 or IE4. IE3 motors, they are available, you can order them. As for IE4 motors, well, our colleagues are not really telling you all the truth. Yes, they exist, but when you look at catalogs, they don't have the necessary sizes, and even if they are there, they usually have a supplementary cooling system, which is bigger than the mode itself. Of course, it increases the price, and of course, the cost of production of these motors is much higher, because sizes are bigger as well, everything is bigger. For example, we had a motor of size 90 with power of 2 kilowatt, then energy efficient motor of class IE3 will be of size 100, just to make it simple. 
and the company Savalmash, thanks to the technology of combined wine in Slavanka, can produce motors of the class IE3 and 4 in casings of motors IE1 and 2 without using supplementary cooling systems or other complex technical solutions. Thus, we calm down business, we calm down equipment producers because they will not have to redesign their final products, production lines, feedings, and so on. There won't be additional costs. What you have developed and implemented now, it is double winding. You called it Slavanka. What is it? How does it happen? Well, let's start with the following. The idea of combining windings is not new. There are two classical windings in the world, a star and a delta. A long time ago, an electrician that no one knew in the Urals tried to combine them. He connected them in parallel and he managed to do that. He got some good results. And then Vlasov and Morozov learned about that, they patented the technology, then the technology was not developed for some time, it was lost. And then Nikolai Hilovegov found it, he started working on it, he came up with some solutions in specific sizes of motor with specific equipment. And Dmitry Duyunov, who is the developer of Combined Wine in Slavenka, learned about that solution back in 1995. He multiplied the idea, he developed it, he created more than 300 electromagnetic schemes. And today we have the possibility to create motors with these windings, with different motor sizes, in different executions. It is dozens of thousands of machines which we can create, and we actually work on it. There are more than 100,000 electric rotating machines working on that technology. Okay, you have mentioned the most important thing. There are a lot of electric machines that work in production. They suffer from wear and tear, they need to be replaced, you need to buy new machines. However, there are standards, there are mounting sets of the casing that was designed initially. If we buy a different machine, we need to redesign it fully. It is what you mentioned, we need to redesign all of it. However, today, thanks to this know-how that you are talking about, that is represented here at the forum, we are having the same mounting sets, the same machine, we can put a much more powerful motor inside it, or a motor of the same power, but with a much bigger resource. Absolutely, you are absolutely right. I have nothing to add. I can say the following. Yes, we can make four motors out of three when we recycle them, but it is, if we speak about a motor that works at 50 Hz, which is quite habitual. However, if we say that we can use frequency control, a controller, and our technology allows us to increase the number of Hz in standard electrotechnical equipment, 200, 300, the inbuilt motor, which I have mentioned already, it is 600 Hz, then we open a new paradigm. We take three classical motors and we can make seven or eight machines out of them. Yes, they will look a little bit different, they will be smaller, but mounting sizes will be the same. And what does it mean? In terms of input replacement, many producers left. There are many needs of different companies in terms of different motors in small numbers, 600, 3000 per year or 1.5 thousand. There may be 50 or 60 different sizes. Of course, if you create production for that, it's just not profitable. It will never reach a break-even point. However, if we say that we can replace all the sizes with two or three sizes of motors with different frequency control and do it at one plant, it is very interesting. So actually you have one casing, one stator, one rotor, but different control, different current supply and different frequency options. And this motor can function in absolutely different modes and with different loads. So, as a matter of fact, today we say that you, Sovelmash, you have made a unified machine and you can design plants and factories and even production for it tomorrow and today, absolutely, and not actually design it in the future. On the territory of a special economic zone, Technopolis, Moscow, Alabushova, Zelenograd town, a design and technological bureau is being constructed now, Savalmash, 17,000 square meters, to make final products, to develop the technology of their producing and to produce equipment and also to put it in production. What does it mean? We make what I have mentioned, we make small series, batches or pilot batches, 
10,000 items, for example, then we have acceptance procedures with the client and then we initiate building a plant. The plant that we build for the client according to our project, created specifically for these needs, then we train people and that's it. So it is a pilot design production that you are speaking about and when the cycle of tests and acceptance finishes and when all the acts are signed, then based on this pilot and design production, you can make a whole continuous flow production, mass production of plants that you have mentioned. Yes. We won't only develop motors, but we will also construct plants for clients' needs and for our own needs. Well, thank you very much. It is very interesting. It seems that electric machines, it is something that will conquer the future. It is true about different vehicles, about aviation, about aircraft, and what you represent at your open stand, all these drives, it is our current reality. Thank you. We had Deputy General Director, Public Relations of Savalmash Alexander Sudarev today with us in our studio. As for what is happening at the Forum Army 22, learn about the news from the TV channel Zvizda and follow all the events on our website tv.zvizda.com. See you later.